So we've got three or four really cute styles. We'll see what we are getting to. But I'm Clyde Haygood, hair god to some of y'all. And this is Gina Turner. Hi, everybody. My incredible muse and model for the day that I love. We met on America's Next Top Model, if you remember <laughs> seeing her. Years Made ago now. Years ago now. How time well, flies. But she is my muse and model, and I couldn't ask for a better muse. So I guess let's get started. We're going to start uh, showing you the brush pixie, which is a super short, cropped, little, cute cut. This one I'm kind of like pre-styled, like we've done uh, in the ad campaigns and the photo shoot. We've used her, but I love her in this um, platinum color because it reminds me of Madonna. You know, <laughs> Madonna, Papa Dope, Preach yeah. kind of era. <laughs> and let's give her a try. We've got many other colors. It comes in up to 20 different colors. But, um, and one thing, talking to Jenna the other day when we were testing some few things, okay. you said the wigs were completely comfortable, that you felt comfortable wearing them out a wig cap. Very. Yeah, most wigs for me, I feel like, are extremely itchy on the inside, and it's what the materials that are used. Right. And they get a little pokey, especially when it comes to synthetics. We all know synthetic doesn't feel human. But these, I... I know. They're so comfortable. Like the replication I, of human hair yeah. is amazing on these, yeah. and they do take heat up to 350 degrees. So I stick a little closer to 300, just for safety, because I don't, you know, I just want to just coax coax the hair into a new style but can I give this to you so we're not going to use yeah. a wig cap each wig does come with wig caps in their box so uh you have that if you do need one and so I'm going to give it to you because you are the expert give them their first tip or trick oh here's a here's one too okay. yeah so my head Gina is taught me really tiny I have grown up getting custom wigs my whole life because my head is that small that nothing just ever just fits me yeah so I've had to make things fit me um my clothes and everything else, but it includes my wigs. Right. Um, so with these little elastic straps on the back. They come with Velcro straps. Instead of a lot of them have like hooks. Yeah. These but these Velcro so are so cool. much better and so much make the fit so much tighter and feel secure. I agree. So this is what I do because even still when it's tightened to the center where you think it's the tightest. Yeah. It's still not tight enough for me. So <laughs> you might have a little peanut head. So for me, I maybe we can get a little closer. Yeah, a little closer. closer. She does a little so, crisscross. Yeah, I crisscross from this side all the way over to the other side, and then same thing on this way, and then it gives you kind of like it kind of minimizes this much space in the back, if that makes any sense. Yeah, and it like hugs the nape. Right. So especially yeah. with a short wig like this, yeah. you want it to fit really tight. Since it's yes. cropped, you want it to really hug you. Yes. I can even see the back in the mirror. I know. Oh, Perfect. We've got a full roundabout <laughs> way. Do your magic. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I made this uh, a little funkier, a little more disheveled, a little... Um, I, love yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but it's always with these wigs, you can adjust them to fit you, to fit your, your head, to fit the style you want. If you want a little shorter bang, you can come in. I tend to use like a razor on wigs just so it gives like a blended effect. But if you want a little more, I guess I could give you a little protection. Oh yeah. I love <laughs> this mask. I don't think I've ever used one before. You haven't? No. Yeah, how I good is that? I don't get my hair styled. <laughs> it's, it's from back in time, but we, we brought it back now. <laughs> the thing is. But just like we said, Jenna, Jan, Gina, excuse me. Okay has a tiny little face so we may want to take just a little bit of length off to customize it for her you know this can be worn up it's got a great hairline that's undetectable and you can brush it across your ears you can tuck it behind your ears let's give them a look like i said I've given this a little more dishevelness to it. Excuse me. I actually need <laughs> my dryer. I'll model this for you guys. This is giving me like 90s Linda Evangelista vibes. I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love this. 
You know, I like to take the dryer through it to give it a little fluff up, give it a little life of its own, make it look like it's living. But the platinum color is I love it. cute and everything. Like we said, she comes in many different colors. I love this. Right? It's the perfect so crop. It's cute. Oh my God. Pixie. <laughs> this is amazing. I've and never seen myself with a platinum pixie. Shall we try just a dark brown yeah. and show them darker? Yeah. And show them what happens with the new. So straight out of the box. Straight out of the box, it's a little more like a boy cut, you know, like a little Chris Jenner esque, I would say. Um, so let's give her a go. Yes. Same thing. We're gonna do this crisscross in the back. And oftentimes. Chris Jenner because she has dark features and dark roots. I went in through through the wig itself and did a little bit of a color spray to give it a little more Yeah, just a little bit of, you know, a rooted thing is kind of like hot and modern. I love the solid platinum, but if you want a little more dimension to your wig, you can go in. There's everybody's making these L'Oreal, Rita Hazan. That's so awesome. And you can add your own root in to give it a little more dimension. Yes. Oh my god. Which is super cute. I just, I just learned something, and I've been wearing wigs for 17 years. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, so this, when I see this wig, I just, it, like I said, it's very Chris Jenner right there. <laughs> I do like it, you know, in the dark to give it a little like, um, like a retro, a little like. Frenchy looking movie star like Gene Seberg in the 60s or <laughs> a little bit of the 1950s Elizabeth Taylor with some little you can actually curl these a little more towards your face let's get a little heat going this is very Christian <laughs> it is isn't it this pose is very Christian <laughs> But cute in the dark. Yeah, I love it on you. I, I love it how it brings it. out your eyes. This is so cute. And it does have a little fullness that has some lift through the roots to give it that shape. If you like it a little more condensed and flatter and tighter to your head, I have a secret of just missing it with a little bit of water to bring bring it down a bit and make it a little huggier and what I'll do is just put <laughs> I have to take some selfies <laughs> oh for sure I've never seen myself in a dark pixie either no. not this dark this is really pretty see I like it this one is super cute with these just kind of flicking little flicks in and out. Little face hugging. See, it takes the heat really well. But going back to what I was saying, if you want your wig 
to be a little, looking not as full, just a little tighter and a little more boy cut. I will put the wig on and then, can you help me with this? Yeah, just with you your, with sure. And then put a wig cap on it, just maybe to there. Let it sit a little bit. You can touch it with the dryer. Imagine a flapper, a flapper girl. If we rhinestone this, it would be like oh my a God. total flapper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, Amalia's not here, so we, let's yeah, see if we've got some questions. questions. Yeah, you guys feel free to chime in. Pennsylvania's is there. You love the styles? We do too. So. With the wig cap on, we'll bring it down and take out some of the height and fullness. Yeah. Hey. Hey, little 60s movie star. <laughs> this is very Liz Taylor. Right? I love this. Wow. This is beautiful. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Which one's better? Should we have them both? The platinum or the dark? Uh, I like the drama with the pixie. I like one or the other. I like the drama of the drama of the white, and then yeah. I like the drama of the really That's dark. The positive thing about pixies, I feel like you can kind of be really bold with the colors. Totally. Yeah. I mean, there is one thing about the coloring is they are so multi-dimensional here's another brown that's a shade lighter but it has up to 17 i think different colors blended in just to get that one color so when no matter what you've got dimension and realistic looking highlights going through the hair because yeah. nobody's hair is one solid color unless they're no Unless Went to the drugstore and got yeah, a box. Say, unless you're a box, box color. Unless you got bottle dye, yeah. <laughs> and then you don't know what kind of color root you have and so forth. But um, once again, there's a brown. I wanted to show you. There is a really good for you redheads out there. Uh, that's even darker. I really love this. Well, here's one. Actually, here's one that is. Like a golden, like it's like a golden, golden red brown, yeah. but it almost looks rooted because it's got so much dimension to her. She has a super huggy back, which you can customize yourself uh, on the length you want. If you want it a little shaggier around the edge, or you could clean it up and give it a little more of a tuck, of a tuck tucked back. Um, I do like this. Let's show it like just it actually tucked behind your ear. And how cute and summery. And I'll tell you, I mean, we're still in quarantine. I don't know if anybody was lucky enough to get their hairdresser while the doors open for one minute. <laughs> but if you didn't, and a wig could be the way to go. Because it's fun, especially if you're it's the posting. Quick and change. <laughs> it's the quick easiest, change. The easiest way to test colors, too. If you ever yeah. want to try your, your hair a different color and you're not 100% certain, which one's gonna look best? Get a wig. Don't yeah, make an all life altering decision because dyeing your hair is a life altering decision. But <laughs> <laughs> don't make those decisions and not know for sure. Like trying a wig is really a, an eye opening experience for the possibilities of what you can do with your hair. And That's it is great. his for all you ones that like it a little funkier. Yeah, this is a black that. mixed with burgundy, so it's fun. I'm seeing this color come back a lot. Um, to me, it's a little retro. It's a little 80s. I remember we we did this. I'm telling on myself. Um, <laughs> it was a very popular color, but it's fun. Adds a lot of like color and life to your face. You want to try this one on? Real yeah, quick? I actually really would love to. I love oh, great. I like the red. I really love this. <laughs> if you can, you see this up close. Look at all the different dimensions up in here. Super cute. I'll take her, you take her. Wait, 
like I said, it, it, there are tw like up to 20 different colors. This is actually a sandier blonde than the peroxide, than the, I'm sorry, platinum, uh, that I've used and gave her a little with the flat iron. I funked her up a bit and gave her more flicky looking action. I always like to, I like to use a pick like this. Can you see that? Just to pick. go in and fluff her up. Give her a little airiness. A little pieciness. You know, and it has enough length that you can breeze it over your ears. You know, if they need a little softening or disguising of the ear. Or... It can be tucked behind for like an open, open look to the face. Works either way. A little grooming. I love it to look really huggy back here. And it's up to you on the height. You can, you know, lift it and jack it up if that's the shape you like. Or as I showed you before, you can take her down a bit. Any questions we should... Hi guys. We look amazing. Well, we love to hear that. <laughs> Yippee. How many people we have in here now? Amalia, we wish you were here with us. We have 76 people in here now. Oh, there uh -huh. are more people talking. Oh, there we go. Our scroll was stuck, you guys. Uh -huh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. We're seeing it. Ooh, someone has the one B burgundy herself. You the do? This one right here. Please send us pictures. We'd yes. love to see it. Yes. Super cute. They said, love the dark. Also, the tip on how to flatten it out a bit. I Good. remember, I thought I learned something. That was you did? Yeah. All right. I, you know, I learned two things. Wig cap yeah. on the outside. Yeah. Give it a try. And then the little, <laughs> the little shadow root trick you have. Yes. Spray, that's Very good. Genius. Especially on the blondes. Yeah. I always like, I like a rooted because a lot of people with the drama of makeup these days and people with their darker brows that they're... Yeah, Anastasia yeah. Beverly Hills all over yeah. the place. So a little rooted tends to go if you've got a darker brow yes. and makes it look like it's anchored and makes it look like it's what your is, own. What is the name of the style? This is the Brush Pixie. Brush Pixie. And she's available through Trace Allure Wigs and at wigs.com, which we love. Wigs.com has is stocked, has all the supplies and all the styles. How do you pick the right style? Like, if, if someone wanted to wear a wig for the first time ever and they didn't know, you know, which one or what to do? How do you well, do? it's just, I mean, fashion-wise, things, you can do anything these days. And and, the, and changing it up is like what the world is about now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Going from long to short to, yeah. to different colors and, and even dramatic, colorful colors. Yeah. So it's just kind of customizing it to fit you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I think that most people could wear this, but some people are going to open it up. Some people are going to wear it close and tight. Yeah. Some people may want, I mean, we can actually give it like a, you know, a full. Ooh. You know, right. Let me give you this for a minute. A little bit of hairspray. I have to show you because I got my customized <laughs> glittery Everyone L neck. Everyone loves one of those. I want my own. <laughs> I want one. You know, I do. Yeah. It's, she can be worn down and she can be worn up and back. Can you give us a profile? Oh, yeah. Easy, effortless, chic, summery. This is cute, yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. I look like a pretty mannequin. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. You are a pretty time. mannequin. <laughs> I, am, I am a real life mannequin, yes. <laughs> so that is our brush pixie. Um, what's next? 
We have a really cute angled pixie, which is a little bit of an asymmetric wig. It, it's heavier on one side, though you can you can wear it in the middle. Um, you can give it a good part. Do you just want to hold this up? I'm going to pick a couple colors. You can start showing them. I love this. This comes rooted. She <laughs> she is. I don't know what her name is on here, but it's. Uh, I think the color chart's pretty explanatory. The angled pixie. The angled pixie. I love it in this honey color because it just looks, it looks kind of like surf chick. Yeah, it's really Surfer. Good. Here's another that goes a little bit darker. Oh, this one's, this one has a little bit more dimension and a little streakier. This one's a little more solid. Yeah, I'm going to try this one. <laughs> I made great... an executive decision to try this one. There we go. <laughs> and I'll just pull out the next one to get ready. I don't think we've tried on a style that doesn't look good yet. Oh, it's at the back. Yeah, I can just... Maybe just a little looser. Because often, if you do want it tighter, I'll actually go in and, and just overlap and hand sew it and stitch it so that uh, it just fits really great. She is Ooh. full and... This is a speak to your manager moment. <laughs> <laughs> you can wear her loose and fluffy and... or give her a complete deep side part. I mean, yeah. she goes... She goes Either way, the hair is sewn in so you can part it any way you want it. I call this a bitch bang, actually. I love it. I love a really heavy, one-sided bitch bang. <laughs> um, and if you've seen my videos before where I talked about styling your wigs with product, you know that, maybe take it a little higher. One of my favorite things is just to add a spray wax to the wig, because it gives you, instead of hairspray and so forth, this will give you a, a chunkier, chunkier feel, kind of a real modern, textured, I mean, if this doesn't look like a California beach babe, <laughs> you need a surfboard. <laughs> so I put a little wax through it, and you can see that it gets a little chunkier. Yeah. Someone called it the Karen. <laughs> oh, no. Be fierce. Yeah, a little more fierce than Karen. A little more fierce. A little more than Karen can handle. <laughs> I find this one very fashionable. I love it. Very this. fashioning. Like I would take this to shoots to like give a girl I like options. The shape of this. Totally. It's yeah. not too high. Yeah, it's Can you show them your profile? You get your hug in the back. Once again, over the ears, if you want it. I um, gave it a little. Of it as well. Yeah. It's really it really cool. hugs nicely. And you may do a little customizing, like, uh, just depends on what you want. And like I said, I like to use a razor. This is my hairstyling razor. Mm -hmm. But I will say, at the Beauty Supply, you can get these really easy disposable razors. Instead of, instead of using scissors where you could accidentally make a mistake, take too much off, or it look too blunt. If you use a razor, you can go really slow and just etch... <laughs> etch little things out uh, and then take a look and see how it's going. But these come like, they're $1.99. I mean, you can't beat it. And all beauty supplies have these. So it's a little razor. And Ooh. in the photo shoot, oh, I, I gave it like a tuck. I wanted it to have like a severe, clean cut with a really heavy side for the drama. You know, maybe we'll go with a little more of a heavier part. Part, 
Tuck. It's crazy how much just like a little bit will change the shape. The height. Uh, it, it's true. Wow. What if it's, the bangs are a little bit too long? If the bangs are too long, yeah, I would take your razor okay. and give you this again. Oh, this? Yeah. Couldn't see it, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> so she's asking if the bangs are a little too long because they, they do give you the option of having the drama, but if you want it, you know, shorter and not to, you know, hang in your face as much, you may come in with your razor and just do it a little bit more on the side or even up, sometimes I'll go more under so that you're not cutting all the short into the top. So if you're going under, it kind of gives you a more hold away from your face as you're sweeping it. So yeah, you can take it off like so. We could even tuck this side. And that gives you not so heavy of a bang, but a little more clean. The coloring on this is so gorgeous. I love it. I love it too. This is Let me keep you tidy. <laughs> I don't want to get fresh. I'm going home, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> I could use a little bit. I hate to say it, but I'm just going to do this one too. You want me to try that one too? No, I am. Oh, he's going to do it. Ah, yes. I mean, not that I'm a <laughs> redhead. It looks, it actually doesn't look bad on you though. You're giving me 70s vibes. <laughs> that red pulls out 70s in there. But. It doesn't look bad. I will say, it's, really this little boy bad. is into having a longer hair look. Twins. You may put it on with the wig cap like I did before to flatten it a bit so it's not so ladylike, but if there's or if there's any guys watching <laughs> and you're thinking about it, the angled pixie is a really good one. Because it can it can actually it can give you surf dude too, you know? Yeah. I like it. I really like it. Oh yeah, it. Wigs are universal. I feel like people don't really like And boys are starting to wear a lot more wigs. Yeah, I see I yeah. see it all over Instagram. Ooh. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Wig and makeup. Yeah. I gotta keep myself together. <laughs> Even though my hair is gravity defying. Let's see if there's any questions. Yes. How can, how's Ooh. your eyesight? What Some are you seeing? Asking, are we introducing any, any long platinum styles without dark root? Without dark root? We may have it in a dark root. We're gonna get to that. That's Ashlyn. Ashlyn is the longest wig. And we're gonna get to her in a minute. Um, we... Oh, someone said they didn't know wigs could be this versatile. Wigs are very versatile. They're surprising, I think. It, it's it takes, true. It takes some time of playing with them and getting used to them to really understand how versatile a unit can really be. Like, wig, you can have a lot, a lot more fun with them than, I think, the idea of a wig is. I mean, I'll just say, when you get, get your wig... She's fresh out of the box. Like I said, they come. They come with their own wig cap. They're pretty much shake it out and ready to go. Yeah. So when you get your wig, just really do a good... She's been in a box for a while, so give her a good shake out. Yeah. Get it airy. Bring some life into it. Yes. If you're going to wear it smooth, you know, you may just add like a touch of of water to it just to bring back its natural its natural texture that's mm -hmm. built into the wig um, if you are wanting you know a chunkier more um, fashiony style and want to add some products like I said my favorite is a dry wax or you could use a wax stick or a wax balm um, I tend to use like a wax stick and a balm to yeah. go through wow. once you have your wig on just to fine tune like if we're going to wear it behind the ears i may use a little balm to put it in its place and hold it tight maybe dress can you show them even more profile dress 
you know, more of the back and swing it around so it holds. You may want to, back to the front, a little bit of wax just to help hold it in its place. Or hold it down. If So we, we looked at how many, three different colors in the Pixies. How, how would I pick, you know, which one would be the best on me? Like, how do I choose my color? Uh, well, it's all about trying, yeah. you know? Like I said, um, makeup is such a big deal these days. You can, you can, you can, you know, create one whole look with your makeup, working with the, working with the tone of the wig or working with your skin tone. I mean, yeah. you know, makeup is all very dramatic these days with yeah. the contour and the shaping and. Yeah. And then on the other end, I also do, I do hair and makeup as well, but mainly makeup. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of this, I would say, the same concept as makeup. You have to find your, your key undertones to find if you're a cool, a warm, a neutral. And so run with the basis of how you find your foundation, your undertones there. And the undertones are going to be kind of a directional point for you to pick which hair colors are best for you. Sure. Um, but honestly, hair colors are supposed to be fun. Like I don't, I like to break rules when it comes to hair. Uh, exactly. So I never really pay too much attention to that. But if it's if it's a big concern of yours and you want to know, you know, your color family that fits for your tones and everything, find out your undertone. And there's like a whole Google list of what you should and shouldn't be wearing and doing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's like I mean, some people aren't made to be a redhead, yeah. so. You know, they, yeah. they can still maybe go into the warmer, right? They want some warmth of the more honey tones and the little more warmth with the browns yeah. and not go full on red, but it'll give them their version exactly. of going red. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Um, Hopefully that answered that question. I hope so. <laughs> Let's see. So exactly. we have, I have to show them the um, new wave. New Wave is one of our best-selling styles because she is so modern and ready to go and her coloring is just beyond with so many highlights and lowlights, dimension, and she's got built-in, uh, so you know, soft. just kind of it's beach waves, all which is what everybody wants. Yeah, it's soft. Beach waves, effortless looking hair. So, Jenna said oh my god i love this one can i take it home and i'm like if it it looks that good on you yes ma'am you can <laughs> you can take her home so let's see you've already done her yeah. back okay yeah. so i'm gonna let you have it oh you know what beforehand i'm just gonna give it you don't mind since it's your no. way now no. can i add a little bit of texture i, I want to I don't mind. shake it out a little wax to it or a little product you can use wax I also love like a texturizing spray some people may use like a, a dry shampoo but make sure it's not like powdery and white and dull but a texturizing spray is great um, I love the Rene Furter and I love Orbe makes the best some of them can be quite pricey so it's like everybody's making a version of it these days but I just put these products in to help it one more time show off its length and all of its layers and all the built-in body it already has to it so this is the new wave she's one of my absolute favorites you guys are gonna love this it's so cute I fell in love with this last night Oh, I think she might be a little looser than I'm playing. Oh, a little tighter. <laughs> and, like I said, okay, we have, we've dressed the wig cap. And this one has bangs, but she's got an incredible, if maybe let's go close and show them. Oh, yeah. She's got an incredible lace hairline. If you're out and about, and the wind blows, it's completely undetectable. So we love that. So that allows you, if you wanted to, you know, give it more of a part, open it up. This is so cute. I'm so happy. I about love the it. I love this this is this I love the rock and roll bangs yeah, to it. Yeah, it's like it, a very carefree, you know, it's like a it really is. easy. Do we have this down? Yes. Yeah. Ah, 
too. So modern, so perfect. Love this. And, you know, if you want to work with the bands, if you want more, if you want to, you know, dress it up and make it a little curlier, if you've got a function, it takes heat up to 350 degrees. So you can use a curling iron. I'm using a flat iron, but I'm going to just kind of work with it and spin it. And give it just a few more. Little pops. And we just got a wow. Someone said that's so cute. Is there any, is this a perma, perma police base on here? Is what? Yeah. I'm, I don't know if I can read that word right. Permatease in this one. Permatease. Yes. Uh, actually, you know, I'm not quite sure. I know it does have, there is a little lift, and I know a lot of the wigs do have, they've been placed in here to give you the body and lift if you want. You know, so you can work with that. You could add, if you want a little more fullness to your wig, uh, there are these. This one's Unite, but expanding powders, kind of a new thing. It's been around a couple years, but you can. I'll show you on this one. Which style is this again that I'm wearing? This is called New Wave, but with one of the powders, which is just gives the hair lots of body and lots of fullness and kind of multiplies the hair and makes it fatter. Yeah. So if you want more fullness, you may take one of these through, through the top to fatten up the hair to give you more fullness. Yeah, so yeah. You can, see the difference well. can you see that? Yeah, it actually made it a lot. It's better. actually a little fluffy in here. <laughs> it's okay. But uh, I love this one is. Did you try that one? No. No. This is sugar brulee, which is a little bit blonder yeah. than what you have on. Yeah, hold that. On, hold that. Yeah, there's some warm pieces to it. But once again, these wigs have so many colors and dimensions. that they always just have like a sun-kissed look. Oh, this is chocolate swirl. So chocolate swirl is like a medium brown with lots of golden highlights. And this one has a little bit more sun-kissed, honey-colored warmth to it. But like I said, it's got its highlights in the right place it's all along the top and face framing. So that it has that natural sun-kissed look, which is what actually happens to hair yeah. through the summer and when you're in the sun. Um, I, with this one, I, 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 let me just show you. It can go into a really cute sweat side part. All of the bangs, there's lace all the way through the top portion, so you are safe to part it in any direction. Love a little side. Gorgeous. <laughs> oh, yeah. Open it up. Yeah. This is cute. Right? I like this. This is amazing. When you use um, the hair dryer, are you doing cool heat settings or, or are you just medium, medium? Just okay. just medium. You know, not too not too hot. I don't really need heat. I'm just trying to air it out, fluff it up, give it a little bit of life. And I want to make sure we have time to show everything. Mm -hmm. um, but with this, I mean, if I was going to customize this. Customize me, Clyde. Customize, Customize it to me. Jenna's gorgeous <laughs> face. Like, I all the wigs, you know, they give you a little bit of length to work with, if that's what you need, and maybe, you know, 
there's everybody has different head sizes so you you know it may not be as long on some people as it is on other people but you can you know think of always customizing your wig it doesn't have to stay exactly how it came in the box uh, so I would take that because uh, with your little face I would like to see it a little more open so just through the center and I take some little length out and like I said I love a razor because you can go slow and take a little bit out of at a time and see how it's laying on you Just a few of the little long ones. Yeah, you can take that away. See, and then it fits her face perfect, exposing her eyes, but still giving her a sweet. Okay, any questions here? Wow, temperature of your flat iron. Uh, I keep it, the wigs can take up to 350 degree heat, but I, I tend to stay towards 300. Uh, just, I don't want to abuse it. <laughs> um, I, I don't want to make any mistakes. And, and it, 300 is enough for them because it, the fiber really takes it. It's the best fiber I've ever worked with, I will tell you guys. Like, when I got these, uh, I couldn't believe that they weren't human hair <laughs> to, to begin with. Yeah, they're, really, so, they're genuinely really soft. It's in synthetics. It's you can either tell or you can't. And with these, right. you cannot tell. <laughs> a lot of synthetics tend to just have a really shiny, shiny yes. plasticness to them. Especially blondes. Especially, Especially blondes. blondes. They they look like a Disney character, <laughs> like, <laughs> and not that realistic. And that is, I worked with some of those wigs, and that's how I decided. I started using like wax and powders in them. To take down the um, the shininess, but and, and I realized that it just works great on styling the wigs themselves. And with the wigs, also, like you were saying before, uh, how comfortable the cap feels because yeah. they've got this cool comfort cap. They've got all kinds of technology for the cap and the fit that it's actually self-adjusting. So it will self-adjust to your head shape which makes it even, you know, more comfortable to wear because it feels like a second skin. But the wigs are super dense, so you never see any of the wefting. Yeah. But the wefting is there so that they don't feel heavy and you can get some airflow. Right? Don't you feel like... Yeah. It's airy. It's doesn't airy. feel smothering. It doesn't feel smothering, but it's like just airy enough because... Some wetted wigs, you'll feel almost too much air, and like you're like, oh, whoa, and we're like, am whoa. I showing back there? I'm like, These aren't my guys. Well, you've seen it. You stood behind somebody at the grocery <laughs> store, and you're like, <laughs> we've all girl, seen it. We've all I seen see it. your dark hair underneath that blonde wig. Yeah, but especially wigs, <laughs> it's not like that, but you can still feel almost that same amount of air that you would get with a moment like that without yeah. having a moment like that. So <laughs> amazing. Yeah. So we are getting close. So we've really? got to show you Ashlyn. Ashlyn is really the number one seller. She's the longest wig. She is made of a monofiber that replicates hair amazingly. The hair is tapered, so it gives a super realistic look. She's um, got tons of highlights. Uh, the choices are endless. So you can get her rooted. You can get her with highlights. You can get her in solid. I know somebody is asking about just a solid blonde, which she does come in. Um, yeah, I'm in the fashion world. I tend to like rooted and ombre and those kind of things that are here now. But she does not take heat. Her um, her modifier is already to go. Yeah. The body is built in. If you want to refresh it, you can add a little water and just pick her up and give her refresh her bounce and her show off her layers mm -hmm. but she is the as uh, one that's uh not heat she's just ready to go ready to wear 
Would you like to try her on yeah. while I look for her? I'm going to show you one of the super blonde ones. Once again, oh, do I have, oh, I think I have the same one. This is fun. I wish I could talk more, but I don't, <laughs> absolutely does not look like a wig. And we love to hear that. Can we see LaBob? LaBob isn't, we're not doing LaBob today. I'm sorry to say, but I'd love to come back and show you guys because LaBob is adorable. Every girl needs a bob in their closet. You know when the time <laughs> happens. Not just Halloween sometimes. <laughs> only a bob. Bob is easy and the bob is so cute and huggy and the perfect fit. Okay. Cool. Once again, this is... Sugar brew, <laughs> this color is sugar cool. brulee, which is very multidimensional. Love this. And um, this is a good one too if you want to even place the wig a little further back and use your own bang as part of the wig, uh, or you don't you don't have to. <laughs> yeah. But um, a lot of times when I'm doing photo shoots and I need like a wind machine, I need you know, the girl's face to show, I will take the wig and just place it like an inch further back, pull out the girl's front of her hair, and you can never tell. It's undetectable. So this is Sugar Brulee, like I said, which is one of my favorite color ranges. And this one is dark amber with highlights. I love that. Look how soft and beautiful. That is so pretty. She's kind of more yeah like a so balayage rooted and then with a couple face framing highlights do you see these little white pieces that give you face framers so but so much dimension and the right amount of shine the right that it has the shine yes. that natural healthy hair really has it yes. does not have that plasticky look this is hair commercial hair it certainly <laughs> is this is Pantene worthy. <laughs> Here's another color. It's kind of like a dark tone in the Ash family. It is Mocha Gold. Mocha Gold, but I tend to migrate to this kind of family. I love like cool tone browns. And uh, I'm always trying to get my girls, Chloe and Kim and them, in that family. <laughs> yes. But you can see a little the difference in colorations between these two. So it depends on your skin tone, what you'd like to go for. I so before we... You, you better. So far, I'm oh, so sorry. <laughs> that's okay. Let's get that sexy shoulder. And we might just need... Yeah, oh, we're, excuse need us for... Our, for our photo shoot. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was waiting for one of those all day. <laughs> so since we started a little late, hopefully we can keep rolling a little longer. Because uh, I would like to show you. This is a blonde. You were asking if this wig comes in an ultralight blonde. And... This is silky sand, which is beautiful, but it is rooted. So you can get her without the roots. Also. I love that. Love it? Love it. I oh, know, she's dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give her, you want me to hold her? Oh no, I got you, love. Okay. This is an easy one. Figured these straps out last night. Yeah, I did. <laughs> we were Let gonna me. play dress up. We well, did. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you can know I'm bald when 
the fan when the dryer hits me. I always want to just like. <laughs> no matter <yeah>. what. <laughs> <laughs> it's the model built in you, honey. Yes. I do hair flips even without the hair. Let me show you up close. Do you see the lace? And it goes all through the front. So you can part it anywhere and it will become undetectable. So let her put it on. Let you take over. <laughs> this is drama. Can you give me it is a full model moment? So I'm gonna fluff her up. Yes, beach bag. Okay. Now gorgeous. Ooh, okay, Kimberly. <laughs> right? I love this. Wow, I feel like I'm so You gotta awesome. have options these days, yeah. so look at this you guys. This is so beautiful. What? Yeah. Soft and the layering is perfect. It's totally supermodel Victoria's Secret girl really haircut is. built into it with the right amount of soft wave. I love it. So once again, um, I love the wigs because they come with enough length that if you want to play with them and self-adjust them, you know, you could cut a set of bangs into this if you wanted. You know, we could take it shorter. I'm not going to because I love I love the way it's. Face frame. I am obsessed with this ring. Right? Well, she's your. <laughs> Someone else put her in your handbag, her, honey. Which one is your favorite? So, and now that we've seen a bunch of, which, which one is your absolute favorite? I love New Wave. Okay. <laughs> I love New Wave because she is so just so cute, short, mo the, the modern yeah. length. Everybody's loving that length, and uh, you know, I know I'm, so many of my clients have cut their hair into bobs because they do it to work yeah. out and so forth. Mm -hmm. But when I show up, all they want is hair added, hair added, hair added. So another way to go is to grow your own hair, and when you want this short, wear a wig. This is <laughs> very true. Protect yeah. your hair underneath. Protect, that's, exactly. And that's my biggest thing is like, I know a lot of girls who wear wigs mm -hmm. as protective styling. They don't need hair, they're they not missing any hair, but they're right. trying to protect and grow their hair and nourish it underneath without yeah. damaging and exposing it in the ways that, you know, they want to rock yeah. a peroxide. <laughs> Peroxide blonde, you know, instead of putting peroxide on your actual hair. Just totally. Get the wig. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's the way to go. It's yeah. it's now. But Wigs can be so sexy. Yes, I, they can. I love the new wave, but I, I see. I didn't try this one the other day. This, yes. This one and the wave. Mocha gold's your favorite. Like love it. I just love all of them in that family. Have so multi-dimensional tones. Well, it looks like our time is up, and I hope you've enjoyed it. We've had a good time with you guys, and hopefully we'll be back to show you some other styles. I know, um, yeah, there, there's there's more to come. Yeah. So this is round one. Good to play with you guys, and Hi. see you soon. I hope you learned I something. I learned something, yes. <laughs> Major. <laughs> Signing off.